Congratulations, class of 2021. You are finished with this part in your journey, but you have much more to go. A reading from Ruth chapter one. I will go where you go. I will live where you live. Your people will be my people. Your God will be my God. In the Old Testament, there is a story about a woman named Ruth. After Ruth's husband died, she had a choice to make. She could either stay in her home country and return to the care of her parents, or she could follow her mother-in-law into a strange land in an unfamiliar country with unfamiliar customs. She didn't know what she would encounter, but Ruth decided to listen to her heart to trust God and to follow Naomi, her mother-in-law, back to Naomi's home, full of people and customs and cultures and adventures awaiting her. Class of 2021, you have had an exciting opportunity to travel the unknown. Like Ruth, you have faced challenges in your own lives over the past few years, hurricanes, social injustices and tensions, and even the pandemic have shaped and formed every day of your life during your high school and college careers. These challenges have made you resilient, compassionate, and grace-filled, wonderful children of God. Despite your difficult past, your future is full of open doors and unknown journeys. As you venture forward into your next adventure, remember that God is with you. God goes before you, challenging you to grow, to be passionate, to be daring. God goes before you, setting up the landscape in which you will enter, ready and willing to follow God into the scary and joyous parts of life. God follows you behind as everything that God has taught you up to this point is enabling you for the adventure before you. Remember that when you face challenges, as you have done over the past few years, you are loved. God's love and grace fills you with faith and hope. You are not alone. Like Ruth encountered when she moved to her new country, God will place people in your life at the right moments. They will help you. They will be with you. They will love you. It is my hope that you will feel, feel that love, that you will feel God's love, and that you will continue to feel the love of your St. Paul's family. It is also my prayer that you will be open and willing to experience life in unique ways as Ruth chose to do. God will grow your skills, gifts, and passions in abundance so that no matter where you wind up, you will be full of faith and love and you will do great things. May you continue to trust in God as you take your next steps, journeying into land and life unknown. As you are filled with the Holy Spirit that helps shape and form you, remember that we are praying for you, we are here for you, and we love you as God loves you also. Amen.